and welcome back to the channel for another episode of blended life it's been a few days since nani and aldo's breakup and nani has been struggling quite a great deal with this breakup she has been neglecting herself tremendously when it comes to sleeping showering and even eating at times as you all can see her fun meter is low because she has not been having the time of her life and as you all can see down here i did cheat the moodlet and that's because for the sims they only stay sad over a breakup for eight hours which is very unrealistic considering nani and aldo dated for years at this point and i just want to show you guys this breakup is very very real they are actually broken up but i just wanted to cheat that because it only made sense that she would be upset now she doesn't have like this huge red bar with aldo because she does love him this wasn't something that she expected or that she wanted but it happened and everyone's moved out of the house now it's just nani and she's been sitting in her room in the dark for a while we've already got all the furniture out and everything the last thing that we have to get is our mirror and this bed here but yeah nani's gonna be staying with her mom our art gallery is tomorrow and this is just it's a lot Nani is here at her parents' house, and Aspen is completely unaware of this breakup that Nani had. Nani hasn't really been talking to many people about this. It's not something that she's opened up about. As a matter of fact, the only person she's told at this point is probably Melina, and she just doesn't want to talk about it, so that's why she's not brought it up. But her family wants to celebrate her being home. Aspen's made steak. She, as you could see, just made iced tea, and they just want to celebrate her coming home and you know she's supposed to be moving out with aldo so they want to celebrate that too and she's in her last semester of college guys she only has two more classes left but it looks as though the only thing that nani can really think about and focus on and want to do is sleep so i'm gonna have aspen call everyone to the meal and just say hey everybody come grab your plates it's time to eat Everyone has shown up to grab their plate for dinner, but Aspen's noticed that her daughter's not around, so she's gonna go check on her, she's gonna come back here and see what's going on. Oh my gosh, guys, Clover is keeping Nani company. The dogs in The Sims 4 can be so sweet at times. But Aspen just wants to make sure her daughter's okay. She's gonna ask her, honey, what are, what are you doing in bed? Wake up, you know? I mean, I made steak, your favorite. I also made my famous iced tea. What are you doing in bed? And Nani's like, mom, I don't know. I just, I don't want to do this right now. And I think that this would be the perfect time for Aspen to, oh my gosh, Nani, stop. She's like, honey, why are you crying? What's going on? You know, are you okay? Oh my gosh, she sat right next to her. <laughs> Aspen's sitting down with her daughter and she just asked her what was going on and Nani just burst into tears. She's like, mom, Aldo broke up with me and she's like, Aldo broke up with you? What do you mean Aldo broke up with you? And Nani's gonna say exactly that, mom. And Aspen's like, there's no way he would break up with you, honey. Why would he just randomly break up with you you guys are supposed to be moving into your own place together and as you all could see nani just shook her head and she said no mom this is very real he, he broke up with me and aspen just can't believe this she's gonna give her daughter a hug and also just try to cheer her up and maybe distract her a little bit nani tried to walk away from the conversation and aspen went out into the hallway and grabbed her and she's gonna tell her honey come here you know i know you're upset but let's focus on something else your art galleries tomorrow this is huge for you like this is gonna change your career your future everything and there's gonna be so many people out here to support you that's something to be proud of right and Nani's like, yeah, mom, that, that is something to be proud of. I guess I can try to put this to the back of my mind and focus on something else. You know, you're right. And, but I just, I think it's going to take some time and I don't think I can completely fake a mood, but maybe I can pretend that everything's okay. And while Aspen wants her daughter to be completely open about her feelings, because trust me, Aspen is definitely a mother or just a sem in general who loves to express how she's feeling and definitely condones people being open. She just wants her daughter to enjoy something that's supposed to be super important for her. So she's trying to encourage her, you know, let's focus on this. This is, this is huge. You should be proud of yourself. You're doing something amazing. You know, her daughter, she wants her daughter just to 
embrace it and to focus on this it's not that she doesn't care about how her daughter's feeling she just wants her to enjoy the moment that she deserves but with the encouragement from her mother she's going to surface <laughs> as my mom would say you finally surface she's gonna surface and come out here and eat some dinner her little sister has been out here waiting to see nani so i'm gonna have her come out and aspen's got her food as well she she came back to check on her daughter so she didn't get to eat yet but we're gonna eat our steak and look at cammy she's so cute she's like Nani, where have you been? I've missed you. <laughs> Nani's like, oh, I just had to get some sleep. It's okay. But Nani did ask her mom to keep the breakup between them because she doesn't really want everyone else's mood to be brought down because they're going to know about the breakup. Nani has Aspen's word. She's not going to say anything. She's just going to keep this between them. And, you know, we're just going to not tell anyone. But I'm going to have Aspen clean up the dishes. Oh, Nani's like, I got my plate. Don't worry. Cammy, come inside. She's actually scared of the dark, so. <laughs> need to get her in here but I'm glad that Nani being home and you know talking to her mom has kind of made her feel better she's like I'm surrounded by people who love me I'm surrounded by my family she hasn't been here since she was a teenager and I think that this is a good place for you guys to kind of get to know where Nani comes from if you never watched Finding Solace you know now you get to figure out what her family's like and who they are and everything so I think this is a good time to be home and Nani's just super happy to be surrounded by as I said people that love her now that's not to say that Nani won't get upset again or that she won't have, you know, just moments where she feels down because I'm sure she will, but we are just, you know, we're, we're around people that care about us and I think that's going to help, but I'm going to get Nani to kind of start on some homework. It's getting late and as I mentioned, our art gallery is tomorrow. We have so many things to be happy about. Nani has her painting selected that she wants to sell and... I think that it's going to be a really good turnout. All our friends are coming and I think even Omari is showing up. It's going to be so much fun. Good morning, everyone. So Cammy decided to sleep with Nani last night. She reminds me a lot of how my little sister was with me. She just wants to be beside her big sister and just stay with her whenever she's in town and whenever she comes home. So Cammy is sleeping next to Nani in Nani's old bedroom, which is now kind of like a guest bedroom at Aspen's house, but they don't really have company like that. So it's still Nani's bedroom. But yeah, they're in here resting, just getting some sleep in. I think Nani came in here and they stayed up and they played games and played dolls and stuff so they got to bed kind of late so they're getting some sleep in but Aspen is in here with Mr. Leo they are making some breakfast for the kiddos today and as you all can see if you haven't noticed Aspen and Leo have received their adult makeovers now I know you're like well they were already adults well they were young adults for a long time and I never gave them a makeover and now I feel like their makeovers definitely suit their age so they have received their makeover and I love both of them. I just kind of changed them ever so slightly. Leo and Aspen have always really loved the color black. So as you all can see, their majority of their outfits are black. Um, let's check on LJ. It looks like he's just freshening up, you know, using the bathroom, taking a shower and everything. Maybe I can get him to actually take the dog on a walk. I just feel like everybody's got their own agendas and everything so let's go take the dog on a medium walk while our parents finish breakfast and by the time he comes back I mean they'll probably be done before then but I do think that Cammie might actually beat her sister to waking up so she's gonna get out of the bed really quickly I'm gonna have her come over here and brush her teeth I imagine her mom you know she has this built-in schedule where she knows that her mom is already making breakfast or her dad's making breakfast so she's gonna come brush her teeth and actually you know we should brush our teeth after we eat breakfast because could you imagine eating mint breakfast no <laughs> so she's gonna come in here and grab some food and oh my gosh they're just in here singing about Nani's art gallery they're like that's today I'm so excited let's grab a serving of this omelet looks pretty good everyone comes sit oh, we still haven't gotten rid of the high chair this was Cammy's high chair nobody's having a baby or anything anytime soon <laughs> but I just forgot to get rid of it so I'm gonna have Leo come and sit down as well let's see how LJ's doing on his walk with the dog oh so cute <laughs> I love LJ I feel like he doesn't really get a lot of cameo but he's such a sweetheart he's so cute 
Nani, I feel like, has been asleep long enough, so I'm gonna wake her up and have her come in here and grab some of this breakfast that her parents have made this morning. I'm hoping to get into something fun, maybe with Cammy, we can go do something because we've been kind of cooped up in the house and our art gallery isn't until, I think, seven or eight tonight, so we have plenty of time just to have some fun and get into some stuff and maybe to loosen Nani up a bit. So breakfast was amazing and we're actually here at the pool today. Nani's little sister Cammie said she wanted to go to the pool with her friends and we all know who her friends are. Cammie's best friends are actually Lucy and Lily Farley who are Aldo's little sisters and she just wanted to come out here with her friends and have a good day with her friends and her sister. So yeah, we're here at the pool. It's a little awkward for Nani. I think that's why she's keeping her distance and just, you know, sitting on the floaty here. She's just minding her business and just not talking to the girls at all um but cammy is just having a blast with her friends they're so cute you guys should have seen it cammy trying to jump off of this uh this diving board and it just did not work well i'm gonna actually have her try to do her cannonball one more time because the girl was up there flexing <laughs> thinking it was gonna be great and she completely flopped <laughs> oh that was terrible <laughs> I feel like Lucy definitely has a competitive spirit. It looked like she was going to go up there and do a cannonball as well, but then she just changed her mind after she saw Cammy kind of flop and hurt herself. So I'm going to have Cammy come back over here and I wish they could play pool games. I feel like when it was Sims 3, you could actually play pool games with your Sims, but you know, it's fine. Let's actually come over here and possibly swing with uh, Lucy because I feel like Cammy is a lot closer to Lucy than Lily because Lily's kind of good friends with Marisol's daughter so they kind of group to one another but oh my gosh it's their grandpa <laughs> Louise <laughs> I guess he came to the pool too I mean we are in a heat wave so maybe that's why everyone's at the pool trying to relax and cool off but we're gonna come over here and we're gonna swing with Lucy they are so cute I feel like I need a picture <laughs> I like how Gabby has her daughters completely covered in sunscreen, by the way. <laughs> Lucy has all the sunscreen on. And then I think even Lily, oh, she's just got a strip on her nose. I guess she thinks that sunscreen is lame. You know when you're a kid and you're like, I'm not doing that. That's not cool. I feel like that's Lily. Lily's like, I'm not going to do that. That's not cool. That's not cute. Um, but Lucy's like, yeah, mom, coat me in the sunscreen. <laughs> We're about to head home and Cammie wanted to get a quick picture with her friend Lucy. So I'm letting them take a selfie right quick. And and then we're gonna head home and pick out an outfit for Nani's event. But oh my gosh, guys, they're so cute. I feel like I'm looking at Nani and Diego <laughs> because that's who they look like. But let's see if we can get a cool photo. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. We got a bunch of really cool photos with our friends. So I'm actually gonna have her maybe hug her friend goodbye since we're about to leave. And ooh, we can become best friends forever. Yes, let's become best friends forever. They're so cute. <laughs> Oh, best friends. I love that. She's also going to share excitement about her sister's art gallery. She's like, today is Nani's art gallery. I'm so excited. She's going to do so good. And she's like, yeah, she's going to kill it. Oh, these girls are so cute. I'm going to have her give her a big hug. And she's like, I'll see you next time. We got to hurry up and go home so we can get ready for the art gallery. So I'll talk to you soon. Okay, Lucy? Lucy's like, yeah, but my stomach's turning from that fruit cobbler. I got to go to the bathroom before my mama comes. <laughs> Nani is just now getting out of the shower and she's currently brushing her teeth. Like I said, we have our art gallery tonight. It's at 8 p.m. So we have literally an hour to get ready. But Nani is just kind of debating on what she wants to wear. So I'm going to have her go to her room and we're going to head into Cass and see if we can get her a really cute outfit for her big night. This is major for her. So I feel like we got to have our nails done, our hair done, and makeup done. And even our outfit has to be perfect. So I'm going to have her search through here and see if she can find something cute to wear.
so we are finally at Nani's art gallery and everyone's starting to arrive but Nani looks a little sad because she is reflecting on a certain painting that she did now for some reason when I brought this painting here it just it's not displaying but I promise I can like try to show you guys the picture but this was actually a painting that Nani did of Aldo I tried to copy it I tried to do everything I could to place it but when I place it it's just blank but it is a picture of Aldo when he was playing on his DJ booth that Nani kind of painted and she titled this one love and everyone's admiring it and they can't believe she painted something so beautiful again let's just pretend it's there um, but I do want to show you guys the other paintings that Nani has listed. We have this one here by Nani and we have a few other paintings on the back side that are also by Nani. This painting over here is Nani's. These paintings over here are also hers. These are also by her. These are also paintings. This is another contestant's painting as well as another one. There are other paintings listed throughout the museum for the art gallery and that are other that belong to other artists so it is not just her here but you know there's a lot of paintings by her because obviously she's our main character <laughs> but she's just sitting down trying to stay positive. I think she's probably gonna get a few pictures with people so let's grab a photo with Amari first. He actually looks so good. He dressed up so adorable. Look at his blue suit. He looks so fresh. It's good to know that we have people who have our backs and will show up for things like this that are very very important to her. I also wanted to get a picture with Melina because we know she was there when the whole breakup went down with Aldo and Nani just loves her to pieces and they are actually the closest out of all the roommates so it's just so adorable to see her actually developing new friendships and you know she has Amari as well as well as Everly and Desiree it's just so good to have a support system so Nani's on her way to get herself something to drink she just wants to treat herself and I'm really curious to see what she's gonna order because I asked her to order her favorite drink so we're gonna find out right now what Nani's favorite drink is this is probably my favorite thing to do because you get to know your son a little bit better and just to see what their interests are oh wow so she got a I'm sorry if I butchered this a coquito which is a traditional Christmas holiday drink from Puerto Rico and some say it can be called the Puerto Rican eggnog that's very interesting that actually sounds pretty good though but she's gonna throw that back and it looks like Everly's on her way to chit chat with Nani as well they haven't talked at all the entire night so let's actually let's request a small donation for art that's what this is for you know we're trying to help get money for young upcoming artists. I think this art gallery would be almost like, you know, they're raising money and funds to provide equipment for maybe schools that can't afford the art supplies and maybe that's why Nani wanted to participate in it. I don't know. You guys let me know what the reasoning is behind this because she is selling her paintings as well as just displaying a few of them. So maybe there's a reason behind it. Our art gallery was a success and things are wrapping up, but Aspen came over to tell Nani that she sold a huge amount of her paintings. As you all noticed, Nani was out here, so she was completely unaware of this. But the paintings that sold were not the ones that were supposed to be sold. There was a miscommunication and the guy who hosted the art gallery, which is this guy right here, Nani is chewing him out because the paintings that ended up getting sold were ones that she had planned to keep and now those are things that she can't get back and so she's really upset about this and he's like but it's it's for a good cause the money is going to charity and she's like I know but those were not the ones that were supposed to be sold those were the ones I was just displaying and it almost seems as though this guy he doesn't care or maybe he just doesn't understand where she's coming from and how important these paintings were to her but she's so upset and she just can't believe that the paintings are completely gone now. There's no way of getting them back. While Nani is very sad about losing her painting, she realized that the conversation she was having with this guy was a dead end conversation and that she would just have to accept it as a loss. So Nani is just going home, holding her head down. She's thankful that the money is going to charity, don't get me wrong, but she just wishes it would have been different paintings that would have been going to charity. And now she's just so sad guys this night it was supposed to be super special and while it was it's just this was very very unplanned for her it's been a few days since nani's art gallery and she's still sad guys i'm sorry that 
she's been sad majority of this episode, but that's just how she's feeling right now. And she's currently out with her friend Amari. They're just grabbing lunch in between classes. Amari had just gotten out of his class and Nani just got out of hers. But Nani just wanted to come out and vent to her friend and just express how she's been feeling. Nani just told Amari that she and Aldo had broken up and Amari cannot believe that Nani has been dealing with this all by herself and just trying to fake a smile. Amari is just trying to comfort Nani and give her the support that she needs right now. And he's gonna tell her, you know, I had a crush on you and yeah, I care about you a lot and I like you, but... I know that what you and Aldo have is even more real than the feelings that I have for you, Nani. And Amari wants Nani to reach out to Aldo and he's telling her, even if you guys have to go to counseling, even if you have to talk to somebody, I just think that you should do it because I know that you and Aldo truly do care about each other. And he, Nani can't believe that he had a crush on her. She's like, well, that's kind of weird. And She's like, I'm flattered. I can't believe you liked me this whole time and you never said anything. And Amari's like, well, I just have a lot of respect for you and Aldo and your relationship. So I just never said anything. And, you know, I know that you guys should be together. So you need to really talk to him. Just reach out to him. I'm sure he'll respond to you. He loves you. I can see that he loves you. And Nani's like, yeah, he loves those video games. But no, really, he does love you. And... I think that you have a really good shot at talking to him and repairing this, you know? Maybe you guys just needed to clear out some things. With that though, Nani is feeling super confident about her talk with Amari and she's actually going to send Aldo a text, guys, and hopefully he responds, but you know, we're just gonna ask, Hi, hey Aldo, where are you at right now? So Nani just texted Aldo and she asked him where he was at right now and he said, I'm at the apartment, why? and she just told him we need to talk and he agreed and he said i know so nani is on her way to the apartment that aldo purchased for them and she is going to just try and get her man back <laughs> You guys thought Aldo was already seeing someone else. He's not. She was in here installing some cabinets for Nani's office that apparently Aldo wants to surprise her with. And to believe that Aldo knew this whole time that they weren't apart and that he had all of Nani's paintings is crazy, guys. I'll tell you the whole spill on how he got the paintings and everything later in like a cast makeover video. So check that out if you want to know how Aldo got the paintings. I'll have it linked at the end of this video. Before we go in here, Aldo spent all of his money on this office space because he knows how important art is to Nani and he even has a big bow on the door but he's so excited to show her this room and so I guess we can say they never really even broke up. Again, if you want to know the story, 
um, as to how he got the paintings, I will go ahead and explain that to you in a cast video that will be linked at the end. But let's go in here and check out this office. Oh my gosh, guys, isn't this so cute? It's all purple. Nani loves purples and pinks. So this is her new office space where she can work, paint, and do all that. She even has a couch in here. She just wants to take a nap in like her own little safety space. But this is gorgeous. I guess that's where she'll put her easel. But he even bought her some canvases so she can go ahead and get started on painting. And she has a supplies car. And this might be a small room, but... It's just, oh wait, she already has an easel. Oh my gosh, she got her a nice brand new white easel. This is so cute. And he got her a new iPad, a new sketch pad, I mean. Oh my gosh, this man, amazing. Nani's just gonna go ahead and plop her box down here because, you know, we're, we're moving in. <laughs> So I do want to go ahead though and explain to you guys what actually happened on this phone call. So there's a portion in the phone call where Aldo says, I don't care. He basically was saying, I don't care. I'm going to come down there anyway. I'm going to come see you. I'm going to come to the art gallery. I don't care if I get in trouble. The reason she didn't get all of that is because they were having phone connection issues. I would like to point out that a viewer actually was right on my tail with this one. I'm going to pop the comment right here. <laughs> I just couldn't say anything. But then when Aldo proceeds to tell Nani he can't anymore just break up, he was saying that he can't hear her anymore and that she's just breaking up, like the phone was breaking up. So he did not have good cell reception. And when he walked away and he cussed and he threw his hands away, he was basically saying, well, dang, now Nani's feelings are hurt and I don't know how I'm going to fix this. <laughs> That's what he was saying. So all in all, Alto did not break up with Nani. There was never anything like that. It was just a miscommunication. So our two lovebirds are perfectly fine. But there has been something that Alto has been holding back on. You know, he's been waiting to do this. He is asking Nani to marry him, guys. And would you believe that he's already had the ring for a while? He was planning to ask her when she came back, when he came back, but he just wasn't able to. And Nani can't believe that Aldo has been planning this this whole time. He's like, I even asked your dad already at my mom's wedding for permission, and he agreed that it would be fine if we got married. So, guys, our two lovebirds are already engaged. They're going to be living together now and oh my gosh it's gonna be a little more decorated next time you guys see their apartment but we're gonna be living like this for a while and it's gonna be so fun I'm so excited for their new chapter they are so cute together Nani's like oh my gosh Aldo Garcia I love you yes he loves you too Nani trust me <laughs> but guys I hope this episode was everything that you had hoped for I hope all your answers are I hope all your questions are answered if you do have any more questions though leave those down below and just know i love you guys from the bottom of my heart and i don't mean to make you upset with my storytelling but i just want you guys to be involved in these characters and have fun listening to their story so yeah if you like this video leave a like comment down below don't forget to subscribe to become a tech boat i love you guys so much and i will talk to you all next time bye everyone